a nice sedan, Steve. Can <laughs> you ride the back? I'm not sitting in the front. Get the sedan that commands respect. Introducing the dynamic Japanese engineered Subaru Legacy. Well, I'm Keith McLaughlin, and I'm the uh, co uh, coordinator of the White Ribbon Campaign at the University of Lethbridge. And all around campus this month, men are going to be wearing white ribbons. And what that means is that's a pledge not to commit, condone, or be to remain silent about violence against women and girls in our society. We are, right, we are beginning this campaign to um, raise awareness, especially about men. It's a male-based initiative. Uh, men need to take ownership and responsibility of their role in uh, ending sexual violence and uh, physical violence against women and girls in our society. So that's what we're supporting with this campaign. So if there's a relationship where physical violence takes place, for the most part, there is also some level of verbal, emotional, psychological violence that happens as well. So whether that's threats, intimidation, insults, belittling, <coughs> yelling and screaming, uh, isolating in the, in the social sense, but also within the home as well. Um, and I also want to include in that category criminal harassment, or what most of us would understand uh, as the formerly used term of stalking. There is also sexual abuse, everything from, and we've heard discussion of that, and recognition of that already this morning, uh, from rape to sexual assault to unwanted touching, unwanted exposure to sexualized material, or pornographic material, forced part participation in sexualized, uh, in a sexualized context, whether that's uh, clothing or toys or games or all of those things, whenever that becomes forced and non-consensual, then we're talking about abuse. Uh, the, if I were her relay, we were going to have um, a few men around campus and we were going to be raising some money by actually some of us will be donating some of our body hair. Actually, we'll be getting waxed and sorts of things, all to raise money for the uh, central office in Toronto of the White Ribbon Campaign. It started there in 1991, but since then it um, has been exported to over 60 countries. So it helps to support campaigns not only in Canada, but also across the world. And the White Ribbon Campaign is privately funded. They don't apply for grants from the government because they don't want to take away any money going to women's shelters or women's groups or anything like that. So it's important to raise money for these campaigns so we can get them going elsewhere, you know, in Pakistan, in Iran, in, in, uh, as well as support them in Canada.